Hello everybody. Well, with three wins in eight days, I think it's time that we can look again at Milan shirts. And since those are the ones that I have most, I thought let's knock two out a uh, video today and maybe another video uh, coming soon. Uh, I'll shoot two. One will come Tuesday, the other one, let's see how it goes. We have a Champions League maybe on a Friday evening. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, the, the, all the jerseys that are remaining are mainly Milan and Lask. Those are club jerseys and I have a few nat um, national team jerseys, which are from South America, Asia, Africa and North America that I want to keep when we talk about the competitions in those regions. And of course, I'm wearing my Milan jacket uh, from the 11-12 season, where I have actually almost uh, quite some stuff. It's not the 11-12 season that we're looking at, it's the 2002-2003 season, the one where they won the Champions League that they had, they had to looking at. I would love to show the jersey that they won uh, that year in, which I almost bought, almost, almost. This would have been the, by far the most expensive jersey that I ever bought. I saw it in 2013. They were selling on classic football shirts. Match issue. Champions League final with the uh, inscription Champions League final Manchester. I was, I really wanted to have that one. I, had, I stopped myself from buying it because I thought it was 300 euros. I thought the price is unreasonable. Um, but the jersey I have from that season, I actually bought it, I think, a few weeks before the Champions League final because I wanted to have finally a black Milan jersey. Um, I haven't done the list yet, but one of my favorite Milan jerseys is the one that they won the championship in 1990, which is black with the three red stripes. And ever since I wanted to have a black Milan jersey, and I saw the one from 2002-2003, and mainly I was interested in the mesh here. And I wanted to know whether if you buy the replica, you get the mesh, or you, it's just, how is it done, really? I know I saw it that year in 2002 in Spain, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. And I thought, yeah, this is such a unique feature, I need to have it. And honestly, this shirt looks great. Uh, even with the red showing, yes, the mesh is a little, a little, a little bit weird, but I o o overall liked it as well, uh, because it is so clean. Yes, that the stripes are not going down all the way is weird, but I like that they kept the color in black on the away jersey of that season, the color was red. Uh, which looks all, all right with the white jersey, but on the black jersey, I really like that they kept it in all black. Very simple look, the big Opel sponsor, which is very sturdy if you look at it. Uh, it's kind of this 3D material that I always thought that the good jersey should have. Now it's completely out of fashion. Crest, impeccably stitched. Yep. Actually, very interesting material. If you see, it's kind of ripped. Um, when you wear it, it feels like a sturdy shirt, and I was wearing it a lot. I did, of course, get it first time with Maldini. I mean, Maldini is my favorite player, and I actually glued this on. I know I have to iron it on. But yeah, it looks much better now. I, these days I don't wear it just because I know that the numbers are easily coming off. Especially when you wash it, so you have to hand wash it, which is something I don't want to. It's not exactly player issue print because it's solid. The player issue had all these little holes in there. So I uh, don't have that. I also found it very weird that on the back the mesh goes a lot further up than on the front. If you see it as the front, that's the back. It actually takes away quite some stuff on the back. So yeah. Uh, this was the first one of the style that I had. The other one is, of course, the Sweden jersey that I got recently. But yeah, but it's a really nice third shirt on that I like a lot. Used to wear it a lot, not so much these days any, anymore, but absolutely love this one. Yes, I would like to have the one that they won the Champions League in against Juve in 2003. Uh, but hey, cannot have everything and there's still time to get that one. Let me know what you think about this jersey with Maldini on the back. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And we're going to look at another Milan jersey very, very soon. Up until then, bye.